Hello. This is Artifacts of Mars. And I'm getting a little tired of this type of thing. Every university president says students are scared and in pain after someone wrote Trump 2016 in chalk on campus. So what? How can anybody be scared and in pain over that? I'm not getting this. I'm sorry. Uh, this is just baby stuff. In fact, some people are telling them to grow up. President Jim Wagner says students viewed graffiti as intimidating. That is BS. That is bullshit. Officials arranged a meeting for those offended to address concerns. They shouldn't have wasted their time. University organizations also offer counseling to those affected. Oh, this is sick. So some commentators have told the students to grow up. Yeah, I'm one of them. Grow up! Republican front runner, runner won the Georgia primary earlier in this month. President of Emory University has spoken to demonstrators, demonstrators who said they were frightened after someone wrote Trump 2016 in chalk around campus. Students at Atlanta School, which has an enrollment of more than 14,000, claim that their safe space was violated when the messages appeared on sidewalks, and buildings. Too bad. Jim Wagner, president of the Atlanta University, wrote Tuesday that students were view, view the messages as intimidation and they voiced general concern and pain as a result. Why, 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 why? He acted after students' government wrote him and slammed the university's response, prompting a meeting that led to protests. Now administrators want to track those down responsible for the controversial markings. But some commentators in the university student newspaper website told the students to grow up and accuse them of being babies. I'd say so. They're a bunch of whining, spoil, spoiled babies who've never had to work a day in their freaking life. They make this the biggest thing in their life. As a result, student organizations offered counseling to anyone who may have been impacted by what they had seen. This is utterly ridiculous. Every student newspaper, The Wheel, said Wagner outlined four steps on administrators' plan to take in order to address the issues raised by the protesters who said they were in pain in a campus wide email. This is sickening. Absurd, ridiculous. He proposed immediate refinements to certain policies and procedural deficiencies, regular and structured opportunities for difficult dialogues, a formal process to institutionalize identification, review, and addressing of social justice opportunities and issues, and commitment to an annual retreat to renew their efforts. This is sickening. How about telling the... Why doesn't the administration just tell them to grow up? I don't care about your whining. I don't care if you hate Trump. Too bad. He's a candidate. You don't like it? Tough beans. You have to enter the real world at some point. You can't, don't always get what you want. That's the way life is. I don't know why anybody would be scared. And Trump's different than anything I've ever seen. Other than possibly... He's somewhat similar to Ross Perot, but... Uh, Ross Perot is more liberal, I believe. I think Trump's more... 
uh, going to edge towards the conservative side. That's my opinion. This is ridiculous. Uh, tell your babies to grow up. What in the hell is wrong with these parents that are raising babies like this? Whining, sniveling little dumplings that go to these colleges and uh, their maturity level is about two years old. I'm sorry, I'm sick of this. They're not in pain. They're spoiled little babies who've never had to work a day in their lives and they're just looking for something to bitch about. I'm sorry. I'm Artifacts Mars. I'm tired of this. Well, thanks for watching.